Hey, did you guys know that Liliana of the Veil is in standard now? Because she is, and she's good. This video and my channel are sponsored by untap.gg. You can find a link in the description of the video. I use Untap to track the stats of my decks, find out how they're performing, and figure out how the meta is forming as a new set comes out, which in this case would be Dominaria United. I highly recommend Untapped as a great way to improve your gameplay and learn more about the meta at large. Again, that's in the description of the video. So you've probably seen a lot of decks like this floating around. There are many like this, but this one is mine. Mono Black for best of one is really all about piling up on the board with more and more value. Two and three for one types of cards that keep adding to your hand while becoming bigger and scarier threats to your opponent and sometimes killing them by doing nothing at all. The main cards in this deck, I would say, are Liliana of the Veil. She's amazing removal. She's hand attack. Graveyard Trespasser, because people are playing things from graveyards. It also gives you damage over time, and it's an amazingly well-statted card that protects itself by having ward. Tenacious Underdog, because people are attacking hands, and it's a well-statted cheap creature that you can just kind of keep blitzing from the graveyard to draw cards. Shouldred, who wins the game by doing nothing. You have a Shouldred out. It's bigger than almost every other creature. It has Death Touch, so we can even trade into the biggest, baddest green creatures there are. And also it makes your opponent die because they draw cards. And did you know that in Magic the Gathering, everybody typically draws cards? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And of course, Invoke Despair. This is the reason why this deck is mono black as opposed to the different versions floating around. Sometimes you'll see white for the Wanderer and red for Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I'm here in just natural neutral mono black. And I love making my opponents sacrifice their Planeswalkers because I don't want them to have Planeswalkers. I want me to have Planeswalkers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this into the queue and get a couple good games in. I've got a 1z, 2z, 3z, 5z. I'll keep it. Play a Swamp and my Evolved Sleeper, my naptime baby boy who likes to get big, tough, and dummy thick. And also swing in here. If they block, well, make it bigger. If they don't block, I'm gonna play Reckoner Bankbuster. Nice. Efficiently use my mana and also set up for attacking with the Bankbuster off of the Graveyard Trespasser next turn. And in we go. Here's the Trespasser. There's nothing for me to exile from graveyards. I don't really care. I'm gonna crew and swing for five. Yes, hello. All right, they paid two life. And they did get rid of my bank buster. It's dead. I feel like I still got good value out of it. It drew a pretty strong kill spell. Ooh, but now they get to take a look at my hand. So they know about each of these. They know I could play this next turn. If I don't get a land. Or Shouldred, if I do get a land. Hmm. They actually tax the Invoke Despair, which means they're probably running some Planeswalkers. Hmm, I wonder which. It's gonna be the Wanderer. Maybe Liliana. Why not both? I'm just gonna play Shouldred. I can attack in with this. I don't feel like I need to. I'll just chill. Mm, now anointed peacekeeper. What do you have? You have... Pain and agony caused by children. Love it! But I know what I have, and it's... A little guy, a little sleepy guy! I'm gonna get an extra damage in here. Boop. And then play out the bank buster. I can use this to draw a card. I can use the mana to give this death touch. Kinda depends on if they attack in or not. Because if they attack with this... 
That gives me a fun choice. Ah, Takanuma! That brings me up to six mana, which is not seven. Ooh, but look at that! One second. I'm gonna play the Takanuma first, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And the reason for uh, me going X equals five here is because I gain life, and gaining life against what kind of looks like a mid rangey aggro y deck. Sounds good! Uh, then I'm gonna swing with the Trespasser. I don't really want to swing in with the, uh, Evolved Sleeper yet. Nice. I got, um, a little bit of draining by exiling from that graveyard. Oh, another Peacekeeper. Uh, just a guess they're gonna name Invoke Despair. It's kind of the card that I have right now. I have one entire card. May I see it? Enhance. No. Enhance! Okay, sweet. No. Enhance! Um, do I feel like swinging him with both? I want to save this as, like, a blocker or draw card. I'm gonna swing in here. And we do have enough mana now. Oh, okay. They're still on three. Bye. And it is now nighttime. My graveyard glutton is getting hungry. This thing is going to give the uh, creatures you control get plus one plus one buff at the end of the turn. Rexian Missionary. Kicked. This is a great card that I've actually been expecting to see some play, but I wasn't sure where. Maybe this kind of mid-rangey black-white deck could be the home for it. It's just really good value in Graveyard Recursion. Very cool. Everybody's buffed. They got a life linker. Uh, you know what I would like? I'd like you to not have that buff. Very cool. Very good. Very excellent. Get out of here. And I'm gonna swing in with the Graveyard Glutton. He's gonna say, mmm, yum yum, tasty snacks right from the trash. I'm going to go for you and you. Actually, you and you. I could have played this uh, Graveyard Trespasser and attacked with the Bank Buster, but I was trying to get this in the graveyard so I could go yum, yum! Delicious! It's daytime. Delicious, delicious daytime. If I wanted to block just the little guys, take those out, and then follow up with Liliana, that also would have worked just fine. Completely clear out their board. Uh, this Anointed Peacekeeper, it's a pretty hefty body, but it doesn't really compare to things like Elite Spellbinder because it doesn't have flying and it's not permanently taxing a card. It's only so long as this is on the battlefield. It is kind of neat, though, that it taxes all instances of the card. And there's a Sleeper. They have a nap time, boy, now. Hmm, the soldier, are you here to cause some trouble? Probably. Make you sacrifice your 1-1 one, one human. It's just a little guy. Just a little guy. And we'll crew with this. And swing in with both. my graveyard, there is a creature I can exile to get one extra damage in. Because my opponent and I are kind of at a weird state in this game, 
don't really mind this dying, but they're going to need a way to protect themselves or something like Invoke Despair so they don't just die. But they're at two life because they didn't block with this. Soldier's just going to kill them. Started their next turn, they would draw a card, lose two life, and I'd win. Good game! I've got four mana, my one of Jadar, some Sorin, and Invoke Despair. I'll keep this. And on my first turn, I will do nothing. I'll just play a Swamp. That's almost nothing. I'm gonna get down Jadar. Were you gonna counter it? Don't. Don't counter it. Rude! I wanted my sweet little baby zombies! Guess I'm not allowed to have that, because this person is on the control game plan. I've run into a couple different blue-white decks. May I have... Mount Dracula? May I have Morbius? May I have Sorin the Mirthless? Nope, I may not, because they're going to use another Syncopate. How about Shuldred? Can I have Shuldred? I cannot have Shuldred. Oh, the Silex. That's a delayed board wipe. They can kind of just use this whenever. Invoke Despair! I'm gonna try to get myself some card advantage while you're trying to get some Karn advantage. So Evolved Sleeper, very easy to get rid of with Karn Silex, but I kind of doubt that they would go one for one with it. Weren't able to counter it before. It's tempting to do it again. They're gonna lead with the Evolved Sleeper, and I'm assuming the Wandering Emperor is gonna come out to say hello. They exile her. Bye. And I force her to be sacrificed. Sadness, sadness for everyone! Ah, oh, look at that! Another Invoke Despair! I'm going to start with the Graveyard Trespasser. Oh, you got a way to bring things back from your graveyard? Or just eyeing those spell counts. No, they are bringing things back from their graveyard with Devious Cover-Up. That's going to shuffle things back in. And I actually have something kind of fun here. Raid's Risen Nightmare gives me a pretty free sacrifice. I've been drawing too many lands. They probably don't want to sacrifice their lands. They only have four of them. They took two damage, and I got to draw a card. Let's see if they have another Wanderer here. Mother. May I attack you with my beautiful braids? No, okay. Sometimes, by the way, I will absolutely just hit my own stuff with these. To stop them from gaining the life, to stop this from being exiled. But I am, once again, going to invoke despair. I'm gonna go for Bankbuster, since Tenacious Underdog would very easily be taking us out, and they might actually be considering that. This feels like less of a threat to them. Mm. Oh, you got a third land, huh? What are you gonna do, huh? Counter stuff? Don't. I said don't. I said don't. Oh, you're gonna use your Silex? Okay, bye, Bankbuster. Oh my gosh, I think I, I think I might blitz one. I'm gonna blitz one and just play the other. It'll go to my graveyard. Or do I want to blitz them both? I have so much land and so much life. I'm just blitzing. Let's go. I want to get six damage in. Bring them all the way down to three.
Nice. That's the kind of card I want to see. I want to see a Shuldred. Farewell. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, Shelly. Followed by Liliana. Drop that garbage. Ooh, wait a minute. I just realized I had a very stupid line of lethal with Shuldred and Meat Hook Massacre and Infernal Grasp. Okay. If you kill it, if you kill it, you're dying. Unless, did you get upkeep removal? You didn't. They put an upkeep stop there, so if they had a way to remove Shuldred before they drew, they would be able to avoid taking that two damage. Oh, farewell, goodbye. Sayonara and see ya. Hi, but again, my name's Shuldred. Uh, I'll be your server this evening. Would you like to take two damage? No, faithful absence. Okay. And now they're empty handed. They're going to draw one card for turn, but Liliana's going to get closer and closer to ulting and also keep attacking their hand, which is going to make it really hard for them to hold up counter spells. Show me a secret. Cool. Takanuma! I'm kind of risking it here, but I actually managed to hit exactly what I would want, which is either the soldier from before or graveyard trespasser to just kill them now. I gotta go with the trespasser, because I don't have to wait. And from my graveyard, I will exile Shuldred. And this kills them. Good game. One, two, three, four, I declare a nap war. I don't have anything big and scary in this hand, but I have a scaling threat. Something kind of obnoxious that also helps protect me from edicts from my opponent. Um, as in things that make me sacrifice a single target. And a bit of graveyard bring it back. Oh, hello there, Mr. Virtuoso. So blocking is not going to be something I'm very good at in this matchup. Because I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be make a gigantic unblockable virtuoso and kick my butt. Let's find out. I've only played against some of these decks. Usually they're blue white. And this one looks like it's tasting a rainbow because they have all of the colors for domain. There we go. Gaia's might. The six six with double strike. Didn't even need to make it unblockable, they just got rid of my blocker. That works. Uh, hey, while you have almost no mana up, I might want to hit that. I could also do it during their upkeep, because the biggest thing I think they would have here would be um, the phase out card. Cool, they didn't have it. Just in case they did, I wanted to make sure we had something to deal with it. Or just like a way to make it indestructible. I've flooded a teeny tiny bit here. Hello, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Didn't expect to see you here. Uh, I am going to make my Evolved Sleeper a little bit more awake. Make him into a 3-3 with Death Touch. And chill. Because I want to be able to block the Goblin Shaman. They're gonna filter through their cards. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, they're thinking about things. Ooh, what are you thinking about? Stop thinking. It's scary. Stop thinking. Yes. Yes. Hello. Okay. They discarded a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Nice! Some Trample! Trample's gonna be very good for them. And as is me gaining a bunch of life by getting rid of Neshoba Brawler. I think that this is just straight up a, um, 
A domain deck. That's pretty rad. I get myself another zombie. I might just want to trade this and save the march for reflection of Kiki Jiki, though. Because I don't know what they're going to copy, but copies of cards are scary. This is Domain Zoo. Sure is. Nishaba Brawler is a great two drop. Most of the payoff for Domain is in green, white, or red. Oh, nice. Weather Seed Treaty. Now, they could just go straight to Chapter 3 here. Yeah, they are! Okay, so they're going to make the goblin big and scary. And I'm going to kill the goblin. If they'd like to attack him with the Neshoba Brawler, cool. I'll block. My favorite part about that was gaining the life. Ew, Thran Portal. I don't like this card. I wish people would stop playing it. Ow. Um, and also, uh, ow again. Oh, look, free boy. Maybe I make a copy of the Neshoba Brawler. Do you attack with both or just the one? All right, they're attacking with both, so I'm going to block the original. Uh, all right. If they have Gaia's Might, great, I die. If they don't... If they don't... I think we're okay. What are you doing? What are you doing with that mana? Excuse me? Cycling? Ah, they were making sure they were leaving up green so they could try to draw it. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to draw something too. And look, I did. It's Liliana of the Veil. Vale. One of you has got to go. Who's it gonna be? Reflection of Kiki Jiki or Neshoba Brawler? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a cat warrior by the toe. He's like a snow leopard. He's like a hot snow leopard guy. Now, they might have a creature in hand, so I am not going to attack with everything here. I want to make sure I have pretty much enough to defend myself from anything. So I'm leaving myself with the five heads with death touch, Jadar and the zombie able to crew the Reckoner bank buster. And sitting here, waiting, contemplating, hoping that whatever they have is just as useless as my two lands. If I crew, I won't be able to draw, but if they're not able to copy anything too scary... Ah, another brawler. Alright, so if they have the brawler here, they make a copy, they haste out with it, I will need to block with something. I could sacrifice the bank buster, I could sacrifice the sleeper. I'll probably want to sacrifice the, um... The, uh, bank buster. But I'm actually gonna let them decide. The sleeper can become a 6-6 next turn. Okay. That thing can become unblockable, but I can become ungovernable! I'm gonna destroy everything. Doo -doo -doo. Bye. Love it! 
And now, everybody discard! I guess I could do a draw here. It's not that useful. Hmm. You're out here living in Top Deck City, and you're not playing a card against a Liliana? We'll see about that. Invoke Despair! You got the Wanderer? What do you got? Nothing? Awesome. I win. How about -a? How you doing? I'm gonna keep this hand. We've got Liliana, Bankbuster, Infernal Grasp. Hello. We got removal and a car. Oh, and also unending, undying sadness. But you don't need to hear about my personal life. So here we go. Here's a swamp and the bank buster. Looks like we're up against Grixis. Uh, Grixis is usually the Grixis Vampires deck. It's pretty sweet. Um, but I don't actually know what it is until I see them start casting things. Here comes Liliana. I'm just going to make both of us discard. I could have also just held there and then drawn. But with all these extra lands in hand, I kind of want to trade my swamp for something probably more useful from them. Okay, Shipwreck Marsh, it's, it's fancier than a swamp. Well, my swamp's really fancy looking, but... Maybe they have that too. You can also essentially run Liliana and Kaito and Fable the Mirror Breaker in Grixis. That's the non-vampires build. And I am going to draw off the Bank Buster. Cool, Shuldred. That's nice for next turn. If I had gotten like a one or two drop, that would have been nice. Are you going to kill her? Nope, they're going to bounce Liliana back. The reason I did that is because she was getting kind of close to the ultimate ability, which is make your opponent sacrifice half their permanence. And that would have been bad for them. A lot. Big bad. Here comes Shuldred. Do you have a counter spell? They do, sort of. Uh, it's Urtai, who is a creature that counters a spell or destroys a creature and makes the controller of that creature or spell draw a card. It's a cool, it's a cool card. Yeah, I don't think this is the vampire's version. I think that this is just good old Grixis good stuff. Wait, here's one vampire. If you're in Grixis, this is just a good card. I get it. Like, they probably also were running the, um... Black Red Vampire, um, the Tithe Taker, is that its name? Blood Tithe? It has something to do with taxes, all right? Now allow me to fill you with sadness. Oh, woe is me. Hmm, I drew more Shuldreds. How many is too much? Blood Tithe Harvester. That sounds good. That sounds like a good thing to do. It's a really good 2-drop, because it's a 3-2 that doubles as removal and is an incredibly good card to duplicate with Fable. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Oh, wait! We're seeing more vampires! It's Florian the Voldaren Scion! I misspoke. Apparently it is vampires. That's pretty sweet, though. How about you sacrifice a creature? And how about I play an evolved sleeper? Ooh, we're gonna deal some damage to it. In response, I will crew. Interesting to see Parasitic Grasp. This is a human. Hmm. Nice. It's a human. You can just, like, keep adding types to it. Human Cleric, Human Phyrexian Cleric. Hi. Um, all right. You sure do like slurping, huh? 
I'll draw a card. And I will rid you of your Florian. I'm gonna discard the Tenacious Underdog. Mm, yeah, I'll just I'll just invoke despair. There we go. You got a little bit of sadness in your life. Oh, and I drew Duress. So let's check out their last two cards in hand. Fable, the Mirror Breaker, and Urtai! No Fable. No Fable. <laughs> but we do know they have Urtai. Hey, Urtai, you want to destroy Liliana? No? Well, that's cool. I mean... That I'm just gonna chill with her. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill. All right, what do we got? Ranking our bank buster. What you gonna draw for me? <gasps> a shrimp? A shrimp? Okay, right. Yeah. Oh, you you ready? All right, let's see what they're gonna do. Do you want to destroy Liliana or do you want to counter braids? Do I to just, like, firmly grasp it? I really don't care about, like, Liliana while they're in top deck mode as much. Oop. But I have an easy card to discard, this, uh, Tenacious Underdog. Get out of here. Oh, they're going to make it disappear! Okay. I'm gonna protect Liliana. Because she can just say bye bye, Urtai. Get out, Shouldred. Sure! Tenacious Underdog. But Tenacious Underdog does less damage than the Bankbuster. So, in you go. And if you're wondering why not crew with Shuldred and attack with both, the answer is in case they get some sort of edict effect, I want to be able to crew the bank buster so I don't have to sacrifice Shuldred. They drew a land and they had to play it right away because otherwise Liliana is going to make them discard. I'm gonna gain some life, I'm gonna make them lose some life. It's gonna be cool. I'm gonna drop cut down probably start dropping lands too, but I don't really feel like I need to. Here, have a Tenacious Underdog, followed by another Tenacious Underdog, followed by Meetuck Massacre for zero because these two are going to die. Whee! And this time I'll just swing in with everybody. Ow, oof, owie, because now when these die, we win the game. Love to see it, gotta have it. My opponent is whispering, and they're saying, Amy, keep this hand. I will, and I gotta check out what their hand is like. They have Liliana, so I bet they're black and something. Yeah, it's blue-black, okay. Witness the future, cruelty of Gix, memory deluge, Liliana, and infernal grasp. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Liliana because the only creature I have in my hand is kind of a Two for one if they have to target it, but they can make me sacrifice it really easily otherwise. So like Infernal Grasp, not as good against it. And also I noticed that they have a Witness to Future, which would shuffle things back into their graveyard. And I don't want them to shuffle that back into their deck. I want it gone. Gone forever. No Liliana's allowed. Ooh, okay. They dropped Witness the Future. And they used Infernal Grass to take out the Graveyard Trespasser. Cool. Um... Sheldred. This does not draw cards. Memory Deluge puts cards into hand. This also puts cards into hand. Sheldred is out here like... Why does nobody draw cards anymore? Kids these days. Yeah, dang kids. 
I'm tempted to uh, use Liliana here. But I really love Invoke Despair with just a shoulder on the board. Because they lose six. Then I gain six. Because I drew three cards. And my opponent knows that that is a bad place to be. A nice 12 points of life swing. Plus four damage in at the face. That's a win for me. Big fan of that turn one duress into a turn two diggity dog. He sure does, diggity dog. And I will play Swamp. And a duress. Really? Really, this is this is what you're doing? I'm gonna drop the one hard counter spell in their hand. They're going boing, boing, bang. Okay then. Tenacious underdog, are you gonna fading hope him so you can counter him next turn? Don't. It's rude. This does give them a scry. Nice. Blue. Blue. And we're gonna play the Tenacious Underdog again because they are probably going to counter it. Or want to. Or just bounce it. Or just chill. The reason why they wouldn't want to counter this is because I can use it from the graveyard. Consider this. What are we considering? I wish to do no such thing. Tenacious Underdog, are you ready to take the first hit? Let's go! They got another Fading Hope, and they used it. Hello! My name is Tenacious Underdog. May I please land on the battlefield? No? All right. All right. So they used one counter spell now. So they've gone. We made them discard the Urtai Scorn. Fading Hope. Consider Fading Hope. Make Disappear. Let's see if I can land any meeny miny Graveyard Trespasser. I'm going to want to exile spells from their graveyard if I can. If I can get this to resolve. Because they have some cards that are discounted or get bigger based on the number of spells they have in their graveyard. Syncopate! Not only do I not get my Graveyard Trespasser, he's now in exile. Aww. I'm sorry, my awoo. My dirty duty awoo. Gonna play the land first in case it is another make disappear. So I have two mana up. And Urtai Scorn this time! Oh, you must be so fun at parties. land again, and this time raids. Yeah, that's right, you can't syncopate this. Now, excuse me, I'm gonna sacrifice one of my lands because I don't think you'll sacrifice one of yours. Just kidding. Raids is going back into my hand. No end steps for me. Do they have another counter spell? Syncopate! Great. I got four. We are still both at 20 life. This is just stalling. We're just both sitting here like, yep. You got anything? No. Nope. You got anything? No. Nope. Here comes Tenacious Underdog from the graveyard, coming swinging in from beyond death. May I hit your face. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh no, my opponent is accomplishing something. They're filling up their graveyard with spells so they can make a large enough djinn to just kill me in like one or two swings. So that's why I've been holding some of this removal to make sure like, hey, just in case, I wanna make sure this is gone. Exile the hottie djinn. We know he a hottie. Negate. Okay. Hey, to do it, think it's the right thing to do though. Whoops, want to do that for uh, five. There we go. Our maximum amount of life gain. Nice. Thanks. You have another one. No good. Okay, here's Sheldred. Can you stop my Sheldred? Rude. Very rude. How about this Liliana? You got another counter spell? Okay, maybe not. Discard! I bet it's like a consider. That was close. March of Swirling Mist. That wasn't close at all. That has nothing to do with consider. It was a blue spell! You know what else is a blue spell? Everything in their frickin' deck. Everything! Okay, Takanuma. Doo doo doo. Takanuma for Graveyard Trespasser. Play the Graveyard Trespasser. Odawara! To put Liliana back in my hand. Mmm, okay. So if I want to deal the most damage, I should hit their creatures. If I want to make things a little smaller, I can go for the spells. But we're at the point where I am so far from making it so that they can, you know, pay more than one mana for the fish and that their hygens won't kill me in two attacks. That I feel like it's not even worth it. I'm gonna swing in with a graveyard glutton. Yum, yum, yum. Tasty, tasty, tasty. And right, there aren't creatures in there. That's fine. I've got some creatures I don't mind munching up. Uh, let's go for the Shouldred from me. And in your graveyard, let's take uh, March of Swirling Mist. Bonk. Liliana. I don't think they have another bounce for that. Impulse! Oh, okay. Um. Great. I mean, it's tempting for me to just blitz this to draw a card. Do post-combat. Or do it right now! Zelda, you can come out too. She's like, yay! Don't discard me! Nice! Negate had no targets! Get out of here! Very good. Excellent. Draw some draw some cards, gain some life. You have two life remaining, Mono Blue. Good game. Good game. We're just gonna swing in and win. Well, that's gonna be it for today for Mono Black. If you'd like to check out the deck list, it is in the description. And also, if you ever wanna hang out with me while I record these videos or just play my variety of decks, you should come over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian. I stream almost every single day, so you should come on by and, I don't know, check out some magic with me. I play a lot of magic. I play way too much magic. I have a problem. I have a problem. Bye!